Three times now, astronomers have been confronted with something that should not exist. November 11th. Once again, astronomers have uncovered terrifying new secrets as the 3 i Atlas continues to plunge toward the Sun in a series of relentless collisions. The first major anomaly begins with what astronomers saw as 3 i Atlas passed its closest point to the Sun. Like most interstellar objects, its initial behavior was completely normal. It appeared faint, followed its expected trajectory, and showed no unusual activity. Three days before and after perihelion, Atlas shifted dramatically. Its brightness increased by a factor of five almost overnight, but instead of forming a single tail like every known comet, it released multiple jets in different directions. One of those jets was pointed directly toward the Sun, something that should be impossible. In classical comet physics, solar radiation pushes all tails away from the Sun, dust and gas flee outward. Yet the instruments at observatories from Chile to Hawaii reported the same pattern. A stable, consistent jet of material was streaming toward the star. Researchers attempted to explain it as an error, perhaps a misread angle or optical scattering, but the behavior persisted day after day, confirmed by independent facilities, and eventually accepted as real. The next question was why the jet held its shape. Measurements showed the outflow velocity was only about 150 meters per second, that is far too weak to push against solar wind pressure, a jet like that should bend sharply or dissipate immediately. Instead, it remained perfectly collimated, almost rigid, pulsing in cycles that matched the object's nine-hour rotation period. This rhythm suggested internal structure, not random sublimation. Every physical model fell short. If the sun's heat were responsible, we'd expect chaotic bursts of sublimation, quick flares, brief eruptions, random jets, yet Atlas behaved differently. Its outflows followed a steady rhythm, pulsing in sync with its slow nine-hour rotation, as if driven by some internal mechanism, Scientists proposed multiple models. Some suggested that jets were emerging from deep stratified layers of ice trapped beneath a crust. Others argued for rotational bias. But all of these ideas failed to match the extraordinary stability of the jets. Eventually, simulations demonstrated that the only model matching observations was one in which internal channels were guiding the flow almost like nozzles within the body of the object. No one declared the word artificial. The official statement described the effect as anomalous collimation consistent with localized venting or structured pathways, but the implication was hard to ignore. Whether natural or engineered, 3i Atlas appeared to possess a self-regulating system of jets unlike anything ever recorded, transition sentence, but the jets were only the beginning, because shortly after this dramatic outburst ended, the object did something even more unsettling. It spoke. Three weeks after passing the sun, the 3i Atlas went silent. The jets faded. The brightness returned to normal. Observations suggested the object had entered a cooling phase. That should have been the end of the drama. Yet on October 24th, radio telescopes recorded something extraordinary. The Meerkat array in South Africa detected two narrow signals at 1.65 and 1.667 gigahertz. These are the frequencies associated with hydroxyl absorption, a chemical signature usually seen when water molecules break apart under sunlight. But this signal came too late. The heat had already peaked. The object should have been cooling. Instead, it produced its first and only recorded burst of hydroxyl activity after the point where thermal logic says sublimation should stop. The most troubling detail was the precision of the signal. Natural venting events are messy. They spread across a wide frequency range. The signal from 3i Atlas was clean and controlled. It lasted 36 hours with almost no variation. Some researchers described it as methodical seepage, almost as if the gas was being released through a regulating mechanism. A natural explanation emerged called the insulated shell hypothesis. It suggested that a dense carbon nickel crust delayed the heat from reaching deeper ice layers. When thermal energy finally penetrated, a vent opened and released gas. But even that theory could not fully account for the signal stability. A natural rupture should be explosive and brief. Yet the emission from 3i Atlas behaved like a valve opening and closing precisely. Transition sentence. And if that were not enough to challenge the standard models, 3i Atlas soon demonstrated that its trajectory also refused to obey the laws that govern every known comet. By early November, astronomers discovered that the path of 3i Atlas no longer matched predictions. Its position drifted slightly, then consistently, then dramatically enough to confirm a new force was acting upon it. When all available data was combined, the calculations pointed to a gentle but sustained non-gravitational acceleration. 
This phenomenon has only been recorded once before in the case of the interstellar object Oumuamua. In that historical instance, the absence of a detectable coma forced some researchers to consider non-conventional explanations. With 3i Atlas, the acceleration raised the same questions, but with even stronger supporting evidence. For nine days straight, the velocity change was perfectly linear. If conventional outgassing were the cause, the thrust should fluctuate with the object's rotation. Instead, the acceleration vector remained constant, aligned with its orbital plane. Scientists searched for alternative explanations such as mass miscalculations or catalog errors. None fit the data. Some proposed networks of microscopic vents beneath the crust, but this idea also failed to explain the precision. The motion appeared too disciplined, too consistent. This led to a controversial theory that the material inside the 3 i atlas might respond to solar radiation in a way we do not yet understand. Some scientists described it as material memory, a phenomenon in which certain atomic structures react predictably to specific wavelengths of sunlight, producing force without traditional propulsion. Transition sentence. But the mystery deepened even further when astronomers examined what 3i Atlas was actually made of. When astronomers analyzed the reflected light from 3i Atlas, they expected to see the chemical signatures typical of comets, water ice, carbon compounds, silicates, and perhaps traces of metal. Instead, the spectra revealed something far more unusual. The object reflected light in a pattern consistent with nickel-rich silicates. This was a shock. Nickel is found in comets, but usually in trace amounts, in the case of 3i Atlas, nickel appeared to be a dominant component. The reflectance signature also shifted dramatically as the object rounded the sun. Before perihelion, it had a reddish tone characteristic of carbon dust. Afterward, it changed to a deep metallic blue. This shift was not gradual, it happened within days. Observatories on multiple continents confirmed it, ruling out instrumentation error. One explanation suggested that the intense heating from perihelion stripped away the dusty crust, exposing a metallic subsurface. Another theory proposed that the heat transformed the surface minerals, causing nickel-rich compounds to dominate the reflection. But deeper analysis raised new questions. The nickel-to-iron ratio was significantly higher than that found in natural comets. It more closely resembled alloys found in rare meteorites or the remains of differentiated planetary cores. This led to speculation. If the object was formed inside a planet, perhaps the result of a catastrophic collision billions of years ago, it might carry the signature of that world's metallic interior. But if so, how did it remain so remarkably preserved during an interstellar journey lasting billions of years? Cosmic rays, micro-impacts, and thermal cycles should have eroded such a surface beyond recognition. This raised another possibility. Perhaps the structure was not simply preserved but protected. Some researchers carefully noted that the spectral signature matched certain engineered alloys, but no one published that statement explicitly. Instead, the phrase non-standard metallic enrichment appeared repeatedly in the literature, a scientific way of acknowledging that the composition did not resemble common natural materials. Transition sentence. But while its composition was puzzling, its behavior after passing the sun revealed something even more extraordinary. As the 3 i atlas moved behind the sun, astronomers expected its activity to fade. Yet the opposite occurred. High-resolution imaging from the Very Large Telescope revealed at least five distinct jets emerging from its surface. These jets were not chaotic. They were arranged like a geometric pattern, each pointing in a different direction, and one pointing directly back toward the sun. This was the moment many scientists quietly admitted that something about this object did not make sense. A sunward jet cannot naturally form or remain stable, Solar radiation pushes material away from the star, yet the jet held its shape for days, synchronized with the object's rotation. Researchers explored new theories. One idea involved electromagnetic interactions with the solar wind. Perhaps the object's metallic surface became charged, creating magnetic field lines that guided the jets. But the charge density required for this scenario was far beyond anything observed in natural comets. Another hypothesis proposed cryovolcanic channels beneath the surface that acted as nozzles. While this could explain the precision, it did not account for the sunward orientation. The simplest explanation, though rarely stated out loud, was that the internal structure of 3i Atlas directed the jets. Whether this structure was natural or artificial remained the central debate. But the pattern, rhythm, and symmetry implied order rather than randomness. Then came the color anomaly. The metallic blue reflectance became dominant, suggesting the exposed surface was highly reflective and composed of fine particles or alloys. Because nickel-rich minerals can reflect blue light under intense heating, 
Some researchers concluded that the object might be shedding extremely small grains from its surface, revealing the underlying material. Others suggested the surface behaved like a polished metal, reflecting the sun. Transition sentence, and as these mysteries deepened, another layer of complexity emerged, one involving delayed data, missing imagery, and increasing calls for transparency. For decades, agencies like NASA and ESA have released comet imagery within days of capture. But in the case of 3i Atlas, key images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter were delayed for three weeks. When the images were finally released, they appeared heavily compressed and lacked the detail typically provided. Publicly, NASA cited calibration and processing issues, but behind the scenes, several scientists questioned why data from multiple instruments across different missions seemed to arrive out of order or incomplete. Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna even requested the release of all Mars-based imagery associated with the object, citing unexplained delays and missing telemetry. Some insiders claim the original images contained sharp contrasts and geometric shadows inconsistent with natural bodies. Others suggested the data included unusual reflections or symmetrical surface patterns. Without access to the originals, none of these claims can be verified, but the delays themselves added a layer of mystery to an already perplexing object. If the object were simply a comet, why not release the data? Why treat it differently from every other interstellar visitor? Transition sentence, yet even with incomplete imagery, one aspect of 3i Atlas spoke clearly through its chemistry. It appeared to be older than the solar system itself. Spectral analysis indicated that 3i Atlas likely came from a star system at least 7 billion years old. This means it predates Earth by nearly 3 billion years. To find such an ancient object still intact, still exhibiting active jets and unusual signals is extraordinary. Its unusual nickel composition, high density, and reflective qualities suggest it may have originated from a differentiated planetary core, a type of material normally destroyed in collisions. If it is indeed a fragment from a dead star system, the object could be a fossil of an ancient world. But some researchers proposed a more controversial idea. If a civilization existed in that system billions of years ago, long before humanity evolved, it is possible that the 3i atlas is the remnant of something constructed, then scattered in the destruction of its parent world. Not an intact spacecraft, but debris. A fragment, a piece of technology eroded into geology. This is speculation, and no scientist claims it as fact, but the unusual metallic composition, the coherent jets, and the unexplained behavior all contribute to this line of inquiry. Transition sentence. And then came the connection that brought this entire mystery into a larger cosmic context, a coincidence perhaps, but one that has sparked significant discussion. When researchers trace the inbound trajectory of 3i Atlas backward through space, they discovered that it passed near the region of the famous WOW signal detected in 1977. The separation was nine degrees, too far to be a direct match, but close enough to raise eyebrows. The WOW signal was a narrow-band burst at the hydrogen line, a frequency long theorized as a universal channel for communication, and the delayed radio emissions from 3i Atlas occurred at hydroxyl frequencies, another component of the hydrogen spectrum. Hydrogen and hydroxyl together form water, often considered a symbolic chemical signature of life. Some astronomers ran probability models and found that the chance of two independent phenomena aligning both spatially and spectrally in this way by coincidence is low. Skeptics argue that hydrogen frequencies are common across the galaxy and the alignment may mean nothing, but others propose that both phenomena could originate from a dense interstellar cloud with unusual hydrogen resonance, a kind of cosmic echo chamber. Still others wonder whether the similarity is intentional. Perhaps the WOW signal was a transmission, and the 3i atlas is simply debris from the same region, not a message but an artifact carrying the chemical memory of its origin. Transition sentence. As 3i atlas fades into the darkness beyond Mars, the question becomes not just what it is, but what it means for our understanding of nature, physics, and the possibility of ancient intelligence. As the 3i atlas moves farther from the sun and its activity fades, Astronomers are left with a list of observations that cannot be explained by standard cometary physics, a sunward jet that violates the basic rules of radiation pressure, a delayed and controlled hydroxyl signal emitted after perihelion, 
a sustained non-gravitational acceleration that mimics intention without a known mechanism, a composition rich in nickel and metallic minerals atypical for natural bodies, a color shift that suggests exposed alloys or fine metallic grains, data delays and missing imagery that added questions rather than answers, and a trajectory that aligns closely enough with the region of the wow signal to spark renewed debate. Whether these features are natural or not, the same conclusion emerges. Our models of interstellar objects are incomplete. The universe still contains materials, structures, and processes that challenge our assumptions. Some scientists describe the three-eye atlas as a new class of object, one that may force reconsideration of how planetary systems evolve and how their remnants travel across the galaxy. Others argue that it may represent an ancient relic, carrying the physical memory of a world that no longer exists. A few go further, suggesting it could be debris from a civilization so old that its technology has long since eroded into geology. But the most important lesson of 3i Atlas is not about aliens, exotic physics, or cosmic coincidences. It is about humility. Even after centuries of scientific progress, a single object drifting through our solar system can still overturn our expectations. Every anomaly teaches us that discovery does not occur when the data is simple. Discovery begins when something refuses to fit. Transition sentence. With all of these mysteries in mind, we are left with the most important part of this story, the part that shapes how we interpret the unknown. We have explored a series of mysteries surrounding 3i Atlas, from its impossible sunward jet to its precise radio whisper, from its metallic composition to its unexplained acceleration, from its potential origins in a 7 billion year old system to its surprising proximity to the region of the wow signal. Each point reveals a universe far stranger than the models we rely on, and each discovery challenges the safe assumptions we use to interpret the unknown. If the object is natural, it represents a new category of interstellar matter, one that behaves with unexpected structure and resilience. If it is artificial, even as debris, it would be the oldest physical trace of technology humanity has ever encountered. Either way, the 3i Atlas expands our understanding of what can exist between the stars. The central takeaway is this. Anomalies are not threats to science. They are invitations. They urge us to question deeper, listen longer, and resist the temptation to explain away what does not immediately make sense. In the silence of 3i Atlas, in its momentary whisper of frequencies, in its rigid jets and shifting colors, we find a reminder that the universe rarely reveals itself on our schedule. Based on the evidence you have seen today, do you think the 3i Atlas is a natural object, a relic of a destroyed world, or something that once served a purpose? Share your thoughts in the comments. I rid everyone. Thanks for spending your time with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to catch our next adventure. Your support truly means the world. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. You'll leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us remember to subscribe for more and like to help us remember to subscribe for more.